Now, as we were doing unit conversions, you may have been thinking, where did all of these weird numbers come from? Where did the 12 come from? What about 5,280? And the answer is that all of those numbers have a lot of history behind them. But they're kind of weird, right? Doing arithmetic with those numbers is fairly awkward. In the metric system, the numbers are much nicer. In the metric system, every conversion factor uses a power of 10. The other thing the metric system has to offer is a convenient way of getting very big or very small units. What do I mean by that? I mean, in the U.S. system, if I want to measure a length that's much bigger than a mile, all I can say is that it's a large number of miles. If I want to measure a length that's much smaller than an inch, all I can say is it's a tiny fraction of an inch. In the metric system, I have access to much bigger lengths than a mile and much smaller lengths than an inch. So how do we accomplish these two things in the metric system? We accomplish them by just having one base unit for each kind of measurement and then modifying it by a conversion factor. And when we modify the units, we modify them with a prefix. Okay, let's be specific. So the most common base units, the ones we're going to be dealing with in this class, are the meter for length, the gram for weight, actually mass, but the distinction isn't important in our context. And finally, the liter for volume. Each of these has an abbreviation that we use when we're labeling a measurement. Meters are abbreviated M, grams, G, and liters, capital L. Note the capitalization on the L in liters. It does matter. And then the common prefixes that we see regularly are kilo, abbreviated K, which means 1,000, centi, abbreviated C, which means 1 one hundredth, or if we write that as a decimal, 0 0.01 and milli, abbreviated with an M, which means one thousandth, or if you like decimals, point zero zero one. So how do these combine to describe units? Well, we combine a prefix and a base unit, so one kilo gram or 1 kg if we're using the abbreviations is 1000 grams. Notice we replaced the prefix with the number 1 centi meter 1 cm is 1 one hundredth meter. Again, we replaced the prefix with the number that it represents. 1 milliliter 1 ml is one one-thousandth 
leader. If we want to do conversions within the metric system, they'll regularly be two-step conversions. If I want to convert within the metric system, I'll typically first convert to the base unit if I start with a prefix, and then convert to the new prefix if my goal is not the base unit to begin with. So if I say that I want to convert 25 millimeters to centimeters, I'll start off with 25 millimeters over 1, and then I'll use one conversion factor to get rid of millimeters and convert to meters. Then I'll use another conversion factor to get rid of meters and convert to centimeters. Now, keeping track of my conversion factors is actually pretty easy because the number one always goes with the prefix. The number always goes with the base unit. In this case, one millimeter is 0 0.001 meters. One centimeter is 0 0.01 meters. And now we'll see a way to make these calculations easier later on. But we can always do this on the calculator. We'll have 25 times 0 0.001. Let's see, millimeters canceled, meters canceled. We'll end up with centimeters. And in the denominator, we'll just have the number 0 0.01. And that'll work out to 25 times 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.01 is 2.5 centimeters. Now there are a lot of shortcuts that we can take when we're converting in the metric system using just these very, very simple prefixes, but I would really like you to practice using this method because this method will work for all of the available metric prefixes. Now, if one of the units involved is the base unit, we don't necessarily need a two-step conversion. Say, for example, if we want to convert 250 milliliters to liters, I'll start with my 250 milliliters over one. I'll have one conversion factor to get rid of milliliters and bring in liters. But then I'm done because I want liters in my answer. One always goes with the prefix. Milli is 0 .001. Working that out, I get 0 0.25 liters.